Welcome back, everybody. It is time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and today we are jumping back into Force of Will with another rare set, the second set in Force of Will history, the Castle of Heaven and Two Towers. This set, while it is kind of more of a rare set, it is more available than the other sets like Time Spinning Witch or Decisive Battle of Valhalla. This one is a little bit pricier, and people usually have it up, but it is scarce. Um, it did have a lower print run, I believe. It's about a $200 box, $230 box. I would say it's it's a good solid $200 box, I, I would guess. But this thing has lots of nice little cool goodies in it. I have not opened this set yet before, and there is a legendary card in here that we do want to try to find, the legendary Booty Cat. Yes, that's right. We've got the Cheshire Cat in here, and there's something a little bit different with this one. In the first run, the first print of this... I'll just, all my lights went out. Great. Of course, it can never, it can never be easy when you're doing filmings. <sighs> Recompose, all right. Okay, where was I? All right, Booty Cat, the Booty Cat. In the first run, first print of this set, the Cheshire Cat card in here that you can find did have a version where there were no pants and just had the underwear on the card. I'm not a particular fan of the Cheshire Cat card. I'll probably put it up so you know what we're looking for, but uh, I'm not a fan of this card. I'm not a fan of the artwork really on this one, but it is like a $170 card, $150 card. So it's a very valued card since this was a low print run. There's not very many of those booty cat pantsless variants out there. Hey everyone, future editing me here. Uh, just wanted to cut off my little rant about the Cheshire Cat since I knew this information already, but forgot it since I hadn't looked it up in a while, but you cannot get the full art misprint pantsless Cheshire Cat in the Castle of Heaven and Two Towers. I don't want there to be false information on that because I know it's been a point of confusion in the past with this set. Uh, you cannot get the misprint in this. I, of course, forgot that and just assumed that you could again, so I'm like skipping all of my nonsense talking about how rare it is. You can just get the normal print Cheshire Cat in the set and the pantsless uh, full art was in Moon Priestess to Return, first edition only as kind of like a chase card to find. So that is that is all that's going on with the Cheshire Cat. And I don't know why I lost track of it, but you'll hear me talk about how when I film in these videos, I just lose my mind and I forget stuff. So I went off of an assumption that I used to have in the past and was corrected on and then forgot about up until recently, since I haven't looked up anything about the set as of late, which I should probably start making a habit of doing before I start filming the videos. But yeah, anyways, uh, all right, back to past me, and uh, I'm going to go finish editing the video now, but enjoy the rest of it. And there's plenty of other decent cards in here, some good old magic stones, the classic magic stones that are worth a few bucks. So let's dig in and see what we can find in this awesome set. All right, here it is, the Castle of Heaven and Two Towers, though the title may be long. It's got some fancy, beautiful looking artwork on this box. I really do like it a lot. It looks very cool with the blacks and all the colors. So let's jump into it here. Where's my knife? Get the plastic off, let's go. Come on, let's see what's in here. I don't even know if there's like a buy a box promo in the set or anything, I am not sure. All right, here it is. Oh, look at those packs. They are so crisp and so clean looking. Awesome, awesome. Oh, I am excited, I am excited. All right, so there is no buy box card, but that's all right. So let's get into this first pack and see what we can get. All right. Don't know how this one's set up, uh, but we shall see. We got Spirit of Fantasy. These are the classic cards. Already loving it. Demon's Curse, uh, Seeking Sky. Very nice. Uncommon, Uncommon. Perfect. So we got our first super rare. Ah, the classic Mistopheles, the Abyssal Tyrant. I did a giveaway for a bunch of these that I had in a pre-release kit that I had. Uh, nice reprint of the card with the full art. Looks beautiful. I have a bunch of winners from that giveaway that never contacted me back. So if you were one of those winners, I still have your card, guys. Come on, I, I've got it waiting for you. All right, let's go to the next one, though. We've got Magic Stone Darkness, and then we've got a foil rare right here, Dreams of Wonderland. Beautiful. This desk is going to get crowded really fast with all these cards. All right, getting into the second second one here. Let's go. Oh, come on. Ripping in. Easy does it. Easy does it. Did you guys enjoy the Time Spinning Witch that we opened up last week? I hope you guys did. It was a lot of fun for me. And if you haven't checked it out, what are you doing? 
make sure to watch the rest of this video all the way through and then go back and click the link above here and check that one out as well. All right, let's keep going though. Ooh, Ebony Devil though. That is a pretty sick card. I do like that one. All right, Evolution, Heartless Tin Man, Little Mermaid of Tragic Love. Cool looking card, Oz. And then our Magic Stone of Flame, and then our rare foil, we got Don Quixote, the Wandering Knight. Don Quixote's in here. Oh, that's uh, that's pretty funny. I didn't know they went to his character. Next one, let's go. Come on in. We got a weird looking rat. That is a pink rat for sure. Dragon Slayer, Spiro Shadow Drake, Brainless Scarecrow, our Little Mermaid again. I think this is a pretty low count set. There's a Chessire Cat. All right, we already got it. It's the super rare. Now we do want the full art. We want the full art version. That's the one we're looking for. But we do get the foil of the Grinning Remnant. And as you can see here, she does have the pants in this one. I believe it was just the full art version where she had the skin tone or he. Uh, I hate to break it to you guys if you didn't know, but supposedly this is a he. It's not a she, uh, but you know, I can see why there's be confusion there, but it is a he supposedly. But you can see, uh, no skin tone here, it's got the pants, so that's why we need the full art. All right, let's go on to the Stoning Death Rare. Stoning to Death, oh, okay, cool. Next up, we're on to pack, what, four, something like that? We already got the Cheshire Cat. I think it does have a few bucks value, even just the original version from the set, uh, but we shall see. Spade, we got the Wicked Witch of the West, classic, pure spirits, and Magic Stone of Light. Behind it, we got Sleeping Beauty as our nice foil rare. Very cool looking card, awesome. I'm like inspecting all the foils. I gotta go back and look and see what foiling I'm, I should be looking for here for the first print, but I'm second guessing myself at every pack here. Whispers from the Abyss, cool looking card. Mad Tea Party, and then, ooh, that one's cool too. We got the cover girl herself, Lumia. Lumia's changed her appearance a little bit in the newer sets, and then we've got the Ancient Magic as our rare foil, very sweet looking. Cracking on, that one opens super smooth, let's go. All right, Seashore Fisherman, all right, that's cool. The Abyss again, Longness, whatever, whatever, I don't know, Pure Knights, and then we got Joan d'Arc, that one is sick, I forgot she was in here. The Awakening Purity, very, very cool, uh, and that has no flip, okay, I just wanna make sure. I missed all the flip cards in <laughs> the Time Spinning Witch. I don't know how I missed them, but I missed all of them and I didn't realize. But that is a cool looking card. Magic Stone of Wind. And then we got the Tower of Hope as our rare. Now I'm trying to remember if there's even full arts in this set. I can't, I can't even remember. Whenever I go to film, all my memory just goes out the window sometimes. So like I said, I'm just like second guessing myself here. I'll go back later and be like, ah yeah, I'm an idiot. Breath of God, cool looking card. Jump to the sky, we got Cowardly Lion. <laughs> Oz's Magic, all right, cool. Uh, the Demon Knight, pretty sweet looking card too. Grim, the Avenger of Fairy Tales as our super rare foil. Very sweet, Magic Stone of Wind. And then behind it, we got March Hare as our rare, very sweet. Something I am remembering though, all the rares and super rares are foils in this set. You'll never not get a foil of a rare super rare, which is pretty sweet in the original classic sets back when it first started doing its prints. All right, so wolf in the sky. That looks more like a little cat, but I guess it can pass as a wolf. That's fine though. Endless weight, uh, was that? That was uncommon. All right, so let's see what's behind. We've got Alice's world, very nice. Next up, we're getting into it. Let's go, come on. All right, we got that girl again. We're starting to see those repeats pretty nicely. Scarecrow, Oz's magic, Mad Hatter, and look at that, levitating stone, Almorous. Levitating stone, that one looks sick. Really do like that. Super rare. And then Alice's world as our foil rare again. Next up, let's go. Oh, come on, squeeze it out, squeeze it out. There we go. We got our wolf. I like this, we're seeing lots of repeats, so that means we can go faster. Sky, Sky Soldier, beautiful artwork on that one. There's our Ebony Devil again. Uh, I don't know if you can even get commons in like foils or anything, so oh well to that. Magic Stone of Wind, and then we've got Refarth, the castle in heaven. There it is. Next, slide it, oh, nice rip, there it is. All right, cool. We got uh, Shallows, Giant Dolphin, Dolphins, man. They always come up and I'm always surprised how many dolphins are in Force of Will. Ebony Devil again, let's keep cruising. Magic Stone of Flame, and then we've got the Ancient Magic again. Outside a couple cards, I don't know values on the set at all. I haven't really looked into it too greatly, other than just knowing about those two very popular cards. 
Uh, this is such a classic set, I just wanted to kind of go in more blind, you know? All right, so let's go through though. Oh yeah, Elder Things is in the set. Love that card, really cool card. It's going in my deck. Uh, we got Demon of Fate as our foil super rare, very nice. And then Magic Flame, and then Dragon King's Flame as our rare. Gotta say though, look at that, that artwork is sick looking. Just admiring that. Next up, let's go. Come on, we got a nice sword. Who's a Gusanagi sword? I don't even know, Force Growth. Evolution, Heartless Tin Man, we skipped one, that's okay. We can skip here and there. Little Dread, the Fake Red Moon as our super rare. This is a good one to get. I will take it. That is beautiful, uh, classic character from these sets. Really nice. And then behind it, we've got Futagu, the Flame Spirit. Futagu. That's pretty sick, actually, though. Pulling from the lucky left side, let's see what we can find. All right, let's get past these comments here. Oh, we just... We're jumping past them. That's all right. We're skipping. We found like a butler looking dude. That's interesting. Uh, who are you? Mad Hatter, Rapid Decay, and then we got Magic Stone of Light Vapors. All right. These, all the Magic Stones in these classic sets usually have some value. So I will say this one probably does. Pretty decent one to get. And then we got Refarth Castle in Heaven again. Very nice. Next up, let's get into it. Let's go. We got the Big Bang, the Sleeping, the Diamond, the Truth, the Cat Wolf, whatever it is. Oz Magic, Mad Hatter, and Magic Stone of Dark Depth. Very good. All right. I'll take all the stones I can get in this set. This is really going to help with the value of the box. Very cool. And then, all right. I think I've had enough of the castle, though. We've gotten three of these already. Next up, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, okay. right. gentler. Little gentler. We're just squeezing the hell out of it. All right. Let's go through. We got all these cards we've seen before. So now we can start cruising. We got Magic Stone of Light. And then we've got Alice's World again as our rare. Three of these as well, so let's not get any more. Next, let's go. We got the dolphin on top. And I don't know, will it bring with it good luck? I don't know, I'm kind of skipping through these cards. Sorry, I'm, they're sticking together a little bit. All right, Elder Things, perfect. Ooh, Gusting Skies Magic Stone. Very nice, very cool looking. I will take it. And then we got Don Quixote again, the Wandering Knight. Very cool. Next one, let's get into it. Let's go, come on. We've got the wolf, strength, guided, light, demon, devil, pure spirits, whatever. What is this? What is you, Guardia, the guardian dragon of heaven? Super rare, pretty sick looking. I do like that dragon, pretty dope. Magic stone, and then the march hair rare. Next up, let's go, come on now. Let's see it. We've got march of saints, seashore, evolution, Tin Man, Whispers from the Abyss, the Realm of Evolution, the Red Omen, and Magic Stone of Scorched Bales. Sick looking artwork. That is dope. Way better than some of the more recent Scorched Bales artwork. So that is pretty sick. And then Tower of Despair, Al Haber. Al Haber? Al Haber. We're taking a few from the lucky left side this time. So let's go into it. First one. Give me the goods. Give me a duplicate of Cheshire Cat or something. I will take that. Silver Shoes, we got Nonsense, we got Light Illumia, Magic Stone, and then we've got Dragon King's Flame. Next up, let's go. Boom, here it is. We got Breath of God. Very nice. We got our Dolphin. We got whatever that Knight card is, that's fine. Cowardly Lion, The Great Oz, Elder Things, and then Magic Stone of Dark Depths. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will take it. And then we've got Albahera, the Tower of Despair again. All right. Boom, here it is. Let's keep going into this sucker. We've got all this common nonsense. It's fine. We got our devil girl. Uh, could, oh, have we seen you, Saint of Fantasy? Ah, Glinda. Glinda the fairy, the original Glinda. With that nice foiling. Look at that beautiful card. Wonderful stock that they got on these things. And then we got Don Quixote again. I think Glinda's like a $5 card, 4 or $5, something like that, from this set only. She's gone down in price with every reprint, which I think they've reprinted her, I don't know, three, four times now since this set, but this was her original set, so she should have a little bit of value. We got her super rare Humpty Dumpty. I have not seen this card artwork. That is awesome. <laughs> that is really cool. I like it. He's also got like the Mad Hatter hairs. Alice in Wonderland thing going on, so Humpty Dumpty's chilling in there. Very cool, though. 
And then we've got Queen of Hearts, the nice Queen of Hearts as our rare. Very cool. Next up, let's get into it here. We got our rats and nonsense. I'm just gonna cruise a little quicker now. All right, Necronomicon. Oh, I didn't know, dude, I didn't know the Necronomicon was in here. Although I'm a fan of the newer artwork over this one. That one looks a little bit too non-Lovecraftian for me. And then we got the Ancient Magic again. All right, next pack, let's go. Come on, King Hearts, Star Memory. Gust, Shadow Drake, Scary Crow, and blah blah blah. Guide of Heaven, Uncommon, Wicked Witch, Magic Stone of Wind, and then we got Dorothy, the Lost Girl. Ooh, I've never seen your card, so I don't think you have value, but uh, really dope artwork on this card. Very big fan of this guy's art. Really fits well with the theme. Let's keep it coming. Come on. We're digging in. We're getting the Breath of God again. Uh, Duel of Truth, whatever that was called, I don't know. Uh, we'll keep going though. Oz's Magic. We got this nonsense and we got, ooh, the Eight Disasters, Yamato no Ruchi, or however you want to say that. But uh, the Eight Disasters, as our super rare. Dope looking, confusing artwork card. Might be having some value though, but we got Queen of Hearts behind it in our rare slot. Next, let's go. Pulling. Okay, there goes Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda down because I'm shaking the table to oblivion. Sorry, dude. I'll get you in a second. Oh, we're just skipping? We're just skipping. All right, that's fine. Qu Cowardly Lion. All right, guide, whatever. Ah, Light Vapor Stone. Very nice. I'll take that. Behind it, we've got Realm of the Dragon King. Very cool. Yoda. Baby Yoda. Come on, dude. Stay right there. Next up, let's go. Let's get through these packs. We're going through the Catwolf again. The little Alfred the Butler, the Endless War, and then Ghostly Fame, Flamestone, Nihilus, the Ghostly Flame. That's pretty sick. Uh, this where the Magic Stone War that we just had recently was very fitting. I think they all broke out of these stones or something and manifested themselves. So Nihilus, the Ghostly Flamestone, uh, will turn into Nihilus, the Ghostly Flame in the Magic War Stone. I don't know the lore, so if I'm getting stuff wrong, forgive me, I don't know anything. People be like, Lockdown, you think they're like hiding in the stones? You fool, that's not what they're doing. Hey, I'm guessing it is, that's all. If they're not, sorry. All right, we got our Soldier, Portal of Truth, Mad Tea Party, Light of Lumia, and then Blasting Waves. All right, perfect, that one is sick looking in a foil too. Bang, look at that, really cool artwork. Behind it, Dragon King's Flame. Next up, let's go. All right, going into, get this stuff off the table here. Let's go, come on. We're getting through the Exorcism, the Summoning of al Haraz de Rodero, Magic Stone again, and then we got Queen of Hearts. Man, we've gotten like four of you now. Full four set of you, that's crazy. First up, let's go. All right, come on now. Vortex, we skipped a card, that's okay. Jump to the Sky, Demon Curse, Catriona, what is that? Is it just Katarina? Katarina, I guess. Crossroads of Worlds, and our first J Ruler of the set, we got Bahamut. Uh, Bahamut, Bahamut, the Dragon King. Looks pretty sick. Dreams of Wonderland right behind it though, really quick, but let's take a look at the sick looking artwork. Falagol, the Dragoon, as the reverse side, which is pretty freaking dope. And then he flips over to the Dragon King. Pretty sick artwork, I will say. Pretty dope looking J-Ruler. I will take it dope. How many times can I say dope in one video? Next one, let's go. We got our J Ruler and he was buried deep. That was second to the last in the middle row. So that's how deep these J Rulers were buried in here. They're keeping the suspense for us, which I appreciate. We got Cheshire Cat again, the Grinning Remnant. So pretty, pretty freaking sweet. Pretty freaking sweet. We got two of these, which I'm happy about. Uh, again, it's got the pants. We got Magic Stone Flame though, and then Realm of the Dragon King. We only have a few packs left on the lucky left side. We got four of them left here. Let's just take it in and see how awesome these things are while a plane goes over my house and disrupts my filming. And maybe our lights will cut out again. Who knows? Who knows what kind of other fun stuff will happen? First one, let's go into the lucky left side, see what else we can get. Are we capped at one J-Ruler in this box? I can't remember which ones we're capped at. I'm not sure, so let's go through and see. We well, got a few more packs. We got Magic Stone Darkness and we got Dreams of Wonderland. Woo, next up, let's go. All right, getting into this set. All right, so we got Wolf in the Sky. We got the Queen's Butler. 
we got Necronomicon, Magic Stone of Wind, and then Realm of the Dragon King again. Yeah, the rare slots are pretty low. They must have a low count on rares. We get a lot of doubles in this one. Next, let's go. It's our second to last pack. Let's see what we can find in this bad boy. March of Saints, Longius, the Club, the Portal of Truth, the Exorcism, the Worlds, and we got, hey, the Fake Red Moon again, which I am very pumped about. Two Chess Sires and two Little Dreads. I'm very happy with that. Very cool. Magic Stone. And then Dorothy, the Lost Girl again. Very nice. I hope she has a little bit of value. We'll see, though. We'll see. Next up, it's our last final pack from the lucky left side. What will we find? Come on. Give me one more super rare slot. That's what I want to see. One more super rare slot. Come on. Demon Knights. Realm. We do. Yes, okay, we got two J-Rulers in our final pack. We got Alice, the Drifter in the world. Man, I haven't even seen this artwork. It's pretty freaking nice, awesome looking. All right, let's just see what's behind it really quick. We got Stoning to Death. We don't care about that rare. We do care about Alice, though. Man, I'm not even familiar with this Alice version at all. Alice in Wonderland, the classic ruler from this set, and into the Drifter. Drifter in the world. Pretty freaking sweet. I don't know what she goes for but it's gotta be like at least 10 bucks, I'm guessing, from this set. They never reprinted like this J-Ruler or anything. I don't think they even really do reprints the J-Rulers in new sets, so pretty freaking sweet on our last pack. I will take that, that is awesome. All right, really quickly, let's go into the polls of the day. Now keep in mind, I didn't put any of the Magic Stones in the polls of the day, but know that those should have some value, I'm aware of it. I'm just going through some of the cool character cards, like the Little Dread, the Fake Red Moon, should have some good value, and we did get two of them. Of course, we got our Chessar Cat, the Grinning Remnant, and I'm just trying to really take in what this foiling looks like because, in case you didn't notice, I have a second box here. This was the first box I got at a low price. I got a steal on this box, so if it turns out it's not the first print, I'm okay with that. I didn't pay as much as I would have for this box, which is, oh, I talked to the seller and he's almost guaranteeing me that it is a first print, so be ready for that. I will open up this one soon as well. But yeah, Chessar Cat, the Grinning Remnant, of course, we got the two of them, very, very cool. And then we've got our J-Rulers, the Bahamut, the Dragon King, and then Alice, the Drifter in the world. Ooh, yeah, all right, well, I'll put up some tools on screen. I don't know how far deep into the prices I'm gonna go in this set, because I know a lot of the values are pretty low outside some of these cards. Just a handful, though, just a handful. The price is up on screen. We'll see how we did on that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, helps get it out there, share it with the Force of Will community. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe because we got, as you can see, hope you like the new setup of all my mounds of boxes, a lot more to open up, tons more. I'm going through all these. I'm going through every single one. I do not care. I'm a collector of the cards, not the sets and the boxes. I will open every single one of these, including my two decisives over time, over time. But thank you guys again for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next video.